Happy 4th of July everyone! Today is just going to be a talking video. Well, more like an advertisement video of alternative modding websites that can help support independent modders. Since today is Sunday for some of us, that concludes one crazy week in regards to the Skyrim modding community. As many of you are aware, Nexus made some pretty big changes to their site and vision recently. I'm not going to get too much into it because there are those that support it strongly and those that are in protest of it. I can echo the same old upset messages everyone else is, but this isn't why I'm making this video. Yeah, yeah, we all know how scummy Nexus can be sometimes, but also be aware that always watching. I don't want a target over my head. Anyway, too long didn't read. I don't support the new mod, quote unquote, collections or packs or whatever they call it anyway. I will spare you the reasons why. It doesn't matter what I think or what you think. All I know is that several others have taken down their mods off of Nexus and have decided to either move to another established community like Lover's Lab, Shackin Mods, and Discord. Other users like myself decided to either open their own blogs, Patreon, etc. So in this video, I'll be talking about some websites you can find some mods. I will only include actual websites, not Patreon or Discord because Patreon tends to be another shady topic and Discord has a lot of gatekeeping. The first website I will introduce will of course be mine. Most of you probably know this but I've had this site for almost two years now and this is pretty much where I post everything. Absolutely everything. Full versions of all my mods can be found here. I know I also have a Patreon and people suspect that I might have hidden stuff there, but trust me, I don't. It's all the same. Patreon's UI is awful, so I spend more effort in maintaining my website instead. This is what the site looks like, but I'm always finding ways to better improve the accessibility and make it more useful for people. I might consider making categories for bodies in the future instead of the current categories you see here. The second website I want to introduce is from a longtime friend, Rectas. Similar to mine, he also has a website where he posts all of his stuff. It's mostly outfits, but his website has the outfits neatly organized by body type. The layout looks similar to mine, so it should be fairly easy to access. On my own website, I also have a banner advertisement for his website. Please feel free to check it out and expand your collection of mods. Rektas also has a patron, but just like me, everything on his patron is posted on his website. The third website I want to introduce is Amy Needs Cakes website. This website is actually just new and has been working hard on accommodating his mods on it and making the site user friendly. Amy used to post his stuff on Nexus, but he decided to leave Nexus after the announcement. Regardless, his mods are now here and will be for the foreseeable future. He also has a Patreon in case you're interested. Doesn't pay wall mods either. The fourth site I want to talk about is Arca Life. This is a Korean Skyrim modding community and many times you can find some rare gems here. A lot of the mods here are usually reposts or Korean translations of popular Nexus mods. What I like about the site is that I can find mods I've never seen before and they also have some nice phase presets. They're mostly for ECE though, but you can find a new race menu once. You don't need an account to download from here and you can use Chrome's built-in translator to navigate around. Anyway, that's it. I just made this video to promote my favorite sites. I check these daily for downloads. If you guys know of any good modding sites, please let me know in the comments below. I really want to thank everyone for supporting me throughout the years. I never really expected to have an actual website up and running, 
with a decent amount of traffic daily. It made the investment into modding super worth it. I also want to thank all of my Patreon supporters. Without them, I probably wouldn't be able to sustain all this. Some of the costs associated with all this is upkeep of the website, media fire storage space to host mods, Google Drive storage space for an alternative download, and of course, buying the assets with their licenses. We all give and take, and that's what makes the community sustainable. So thank you, everyone.